Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Sunday. Whatever today is to you, I hope you're all having a great one. As we reach the end of another year, I thought it'd be nice to come together and celebrate the holiday season by looking back at some of the best representations of Christmas in fighting games. With that said though, I have to draw a hard line here and clarify that for this video I'm only including things that fit the following two criteria. 1. There has to be more than just snow involved. 2. Some form of Christmas decoration, trees, Santa or snowmen must be present. It's by sticking with these criteria that I soon realised that wow, there's actually not that many Christmas related things in fighting games. Despite that, I still did my best to dig deep and discover some of the things that really showcase that Christmas spirit. Starting where else but with one of those games I never shut up about, Street Fighter 3 New Generation did many things wrong when it came out in February of 1997, but one thing it did get right was the stages, and no stage speaks more to both the feeling of fighting in the street and the Christmas season than Sean's stage. Now, admittedly, you could say that the only reason this stage even gets to be featured in this video is because of the singular tree planted in the middle of it. But hey, I'm glad that tree's there, because this stage is a visual delight for the eyes and just having an excuse to show it off is more than enough to justify its inclusion for me. Moving on from the 2D era of Capcom's legendary fighting series, Street Fighter V's Frosty Boulevard stage presented a more snowed in look at Street Fighter's take on New York, while also adding more visual props to really nail home the fact that this truly is the most wonderful time of the year. The characters were also able to get in on the festive cheer too this time, with themed costumes for Rainbow Mika, Jury, Kareen, Alex, Zangief who looked like he killed the bear he's wearing on his head, Kami, Colleen, Brokeback Christmas Ken, I guess this Manat one is Christmas themed, and Laura. I mean just look at Laura. Even more costumes were later added to the game, such as Blanca the Red Nosed Reindeer, Cody if he was a hobo Santa, and Falcon Sakura looking like they worked a pole that wasn't just in the north this year. The festivities didn't stop there however, as the Holly Jolly Beatdown stage was later added to Street Fighter V alongside additional costumes for Poison, G and Lucia, who for some reason was dressed as a festive bunny, which isn't something I usually associate with Christmas, but then again, who am I to judge the benevolent and infallible Capcom and their Christmas knowledge? Anyway, let's move on from Capcom before the ghosts of Ono's past decides to haunt me and focus our attention instead to Tekken, who also decided to get in on the Christmas spirit for what appears to be its only time with Tag Tournament 2's Arctic Dream stage. Although Tekken never really did embrace the holiday season the same way its contemporary did, their one and only attempt at it at least had all the hallmark signs of a jolly time for all, with Santa's, reindeer as well as Father Christmas himself riding around on his sleigh. Twas a truly magical time for all in this world of pandas and demons. Unfortunately, however, we'll have to end this perfect pairing of fighting games and Christmas here as we look ahead to the new year. With upcoming games like Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 to look forward to in 2023, maybe we'll have more opportunities in the future to celebrate the holiday season. Thanks for watching and have a great new year. We await your return, warrior.